Hi, I'm Baldwin Burgess. I'm here with uh, my friend Akbar Khan. He's from Alran Investments. We're here in Doha at the Middle East Investment Forum uh, in 2012. How are you doing, Akbar? Doing well. Doing Good. well, Baldwin. Well, I was just having lunch with Akbar and uh, you know, we were just discussing about what you're doing. Pretty interesting. You're based in Qatar? We are based uh, in Doha, yes. And, and you're a fairly new player, but you seem to have a very interesting mission here. Thank Tell you. Tell us about that. We, we, launched, uh, we launched about three years ago. Uh, we are a asset manager focused exclusively on the GCC, okay. both equities and fixed income. And we're focused very much on the institutional uh, as a client base. Really, we wanted to, when we, when we set up, what was very important for us was to be relevant. Why should a relatively new asset manager be relevant for a client base that already has I I enough choice? We focused on, this, on a number of different things so that we, uh, ultimately, we didn't want people to have to make an excuse or have to make excuses for why they're allocated within the region as opposed to going to a global manager. Okay. So that meant making sure that we were as professional, as transparent in terms of communication, in terms of processes, in terms of, in terms of how we conduct ourselves and how we do business and, and, and the fee structures that we charge. Be interesting, be innovative, think about it. Um, we also didn't want to hide behind um, benchmarks and find excuses for um, why we've underperformed uh, or why we've lost clients' money. Um, we focus on absolute return. We only charge performance fees if we've made absolute return in, in positive numbers. Um, you were also saying something really interesting over lunches where, you know, being local with all these companies, they're not always that formal as in the industrialized world. So I, I found that quite fascinating how you, you were explaining to me that that makes a big difference for you because you can actually have a, a closer dialogue with them and add value to them at the same time. Tell Absolutely. us about that. Absolutely. And I, I spent quite a lot of uh, time looking at emerging markets globally, but, but here we focus on the GCC. And it's impossible to invest effectively, in my opinion, in emerging markets remotely. You need to be local. You need yeah. to be relevant. You need to be there. So essentially, as asset managers in, mm. in this emerging market, we're solving an information deficit. Mm -hmm. uh, companies don't have quarterly conference calls. They don't necessarily uh, publish results in English. Mm. Uh, they don't necessarily want to talk to you. Right. So we, are look, we focus very much on bottom up. Mm -hmm. um, look to talk to the companies, but also their competitors, their suppliers, mm. um, their distributors, find out as much as we can, and then, mm. very interestingly, often make that a reverse loop and actually go back to the companies with some of what we've learned when we're discussing, you know, uh, some of the things about them to find out more from our perspective. That, that, that's, that's an extreme advantage you have, because yeah, you're right. I think that's one of the reasons why so many foreigners are still not fully involved, because it all seems so distant from when you bridge that gap. But also, you, uh, you, you apply the Sharia uh, investment format, don't you? That's right. We are, uh, we, every, uh, we, you know, we're an Islamic uh, institution, so everything we do is Sharia compliant. Okay. Just, uh, you know, a lot of people hear that phrase, it's bandied about, but uh, not everybody understands what that means, particularly from an asset management right. perspective. Essentially, it's just uh, another, it's a risk management framework. Right. Uh, you, 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 you mentioned the phrase framework, and I think that's a very good way of, mm. of, uh, of, of describing it. Because ultimately, we, it's socially responsible investing right. with a balance sheet based risk management framework so we look at we cannot look at companies mm. which are involved in alcohol or in tobacco mm. or defense or pornography mm. or gambling mm. and also more interestingly and relevant for this region mm. Uh, banks which are involved in uh, conventional banks as yeah. opposed to Islamic banks or conventional insurance companies as opposed to Islamic insurance companies. So that's on the business side. Mm. On the balance sheet side also, we, you, you, there are restrictions, and I'm being broad about this, that you cannot invest in companies that have too much leverage right. or companies that have too much cash. Okay. Because they have to be sustainable going concerns and too much cash means there's potentially a shell company and actually the investor doesn't know what they're investing in. So it's, it's effectively a risk management framework yeah. which which is uh, what Sharia compliance is. And I guess it really helps you avoid the kind of pitfalls that we've seen because, you know, essentially you're looking for uh, that transparency. You have to understand these businesses. You apply your framework. Very interesting. We, it, you know, it's worked for us uh, well so far. We've had we've had very good results. We've now up to about four hundred million dollars of of, man, uh, of, of uh, funds that we manage. So mm. so far, it's it's coming along. I guess it's just another word for uh, environmental and social governance, isn't it? 
absolutely. But ultimately, you cannot use that as an excuse for performance. Right. Performance is what all investors look at. So for us, this is a framework within we, which right. we operate, but it's all about the performance, no, like, uh -huh. like every other manager out there. And it helps you stay out of trouble, so in the long run, the performance is going to be better, right? That, that's, and, and absolutely, and yeah. we, we are a sort of medium to the long-term value investor. That's our investment well, strategy. Right, okay. Thanks a lot. This was really interesting. Thank you, Walden. Let's go um, do some more networking at this uh, event. Thank you.